The safety of persons and property is constantly under threat in mountainous regions due to natural events such as floods, debris flows, landslides, rock falls and avalanches. In just a short time, such events can lead to deaths, injuries, the destruction of property and ecological damage. Researchers from the Swiss Federal Institute for Forest, Snow and Landscape Research, known as WSL, are investigating the origin and flow process of debris flows. A special test laboratory was set up for this purpose. This research forms the basis for developing protective measures for stemming debris flow events. At WSL, we carry out small-scale research in the lab, and with observation stations, we investigate flow events in the field. Using this combined knowledge and experience, we can verify and further develop scientific theories. A debris flow is a fast-flowing mixture of boulders, wood and water, and enormous destructive potential. Various solution concepts exist to reduce the destructive effect of debris flows. For instance, metal girders were installed in a torrent to separate debris and water. But because they are not flexible, they can be easily destroyed by large boulders. Often an attempt is made to stabilize the torrent bed with concrete check dams. The idea is to break the debris flow and thereby reduce its energy. With this system though, the abrasive effect of the debris results in an unsatisfactory service life. The latest and most promising technique uses ring nets. The principle is as follows. Just as with a tea strainer, water is drawn off, leaving behind the solids and causing the mixture to lose its destructive force. The Swiss company Geobruck in Romanshorn collaborates closely with WSL. It manufactures the world's strongest ring net systems, which have been installed for test purposes in a debris flow barrier. The results from the Ilgraben debris flow test site in Switzerland have been positive. The barrier was filled to the brim by a muddy debris flow event retaining approximately 1,000 cubic meters of debris. The debris flow barrier was filled to excess with several tens of thousands of cubic meters of debris. As was proved, a multi-level barrier arrangement can hold back larger retention volumes. October 2006. On the basis of the successful first test series, a new multi-level barrier was constructed in the Merdanson torrent. The debris flow protection structure in the Merdanson torrent in the Valais consists of three staggered barriers with a combined capacity of 750 cubic meters. This cascading triples its capacity. When the first barrier fills up, it overflows and the debris flow is captured by the second barrier. Our calculations indicate that we can hold back a major event with this debris flow barrier. November 2006. Construction is complete. A serious event on January the 1st, 2007. A debris flow thunders down into the valley. Researchers and Matthias Denk from Geobruck are analyzing the results. We are very satisfied with the results for both granular events and mud flows. Of course, we will continue with developments to improve the dimensioning principles and various other details. The event was simulated with Faro software. The calculated data agree well with real-world experience. The filled Merdanson barriers will not be cleaned out and will serve as protection from undesirable erosion in the torrent bed, in the flanks and in the foundations of a 10-meter high check dam. The Geobrook system offers a number of advantages compared to previous solutions. Mounting the ring nets is simple and efficient. The special V-shaped flank anchorage, the support ropes, ring nets, brake elements and abrasion protection together form a well-tuned compact barrier system. The relatively light materials can also be flown in with helicopters 
and installed in impassable terrain, such as, for example, high up in the catchment area of a torrent. Usually, a torrent does not have to be rerouted or dammed. Drilling work is required only in the flanks. A light drilling rig suffices, enabling anchors to be installed even in difficult soil. In the debris flow release zone at Hasliberg, Switzerland, a multi-level construction with a series of 13 barriers is being built for the first time. This provides a total retention capacity of more than 10,000 cubic meters. An additional advantage is the low visibility of this type of protective measure. It has also proved its worth as a driftwood barrier for preventing stoppages. After events, filled barriers are simple to empty using a bucket excavator. Each installation can be simulated using Faro software to determine the optimal solution in advance with low dimensioning costs. The future climate model is not very promising. Global warming of the atmosphere is a certainty. And it is also certain that the resulting violent rainfalls and debris flows will increase in frequency. It will be impossible to stem every debris flow in spite of all our technology. However, the Geobrook debris flow prevention structures represent a step forward in protection against recurring and known hazards ensuring that not every violent storm must become a catastrophe. Geobrook debris flow barriers are suitable as bed load samplers, filled bed and flank erosion protection or as energy absorbers. <laughs>